Welcome to the CA Ops MVS Event Management and Automation 14.0 New Feature Video Series. This video will cover the multiple SSM policy management feature. The agenda for multiple SSM policy management covers the following topics. An overview of the business need and solution for the new Ops MVS feature for creating multiple SSM policies in the policy manager. The prerequisites for implementing this new feature. The tasks required to get this feature activated. The operation of this feature and a summary of what we covered about this feature. This section gives an overview of the multiple SSM policy management feature. The business need for customers is they have different requirements when IPLing their LPARs, such as for production, disaster recovery, CPU upgrades, or other special projects. The business solution delivered is that this new feature allows customers to create and manage multiple system state manager version three policies. These policies are used to define unique SSM configurations that meet the customer's startup requirements. At IPL time, a policy can be selected and loaded into your SSM managed tables. This section lists the prerequisites for the multiple SSM policy management feature and how to activate it. The prerequisites to activate the multiple SSM policy management feature are as follows. You must install Ops MVS 14.0, then download and apply the Agile Feature PTFs LU02161 and LU02417. Then you must restart the Ops MVS address space. This section discusses the operation of the multiple SSM policy management feature. To use the SSM policy manager, the SSM version parameter must be set to three. Proceed to ops view 4.11.p, which will display the policy manager dialog. Select the option P to display the policy administration panel. This is the policy administration panel. A policy definition contains the following data. Name. This is the name of the policy. Policy table. This is the name of the RDF table that contains the resource policy data. This table is created for you if one does not exist. Description. This is a description of the policy. Status. This is the status of the policy either active or inactive. A means that the policy is active. The load, unload, import, and compare commands for the active policy are directed to the SSM managed tables. There can only be one active policy. I means that the policy is inactive. The load, unload, import, and compare commands for the inactive policies are directed to a set of non-managed SSM tables that are defined by the user. If you have already created a policy using SSM v3, the policy will be added to the policy management table with a name of default. You can continue to use this policy as your active policy until new policies are created. If you are a new SSM v3 user, the policy table will be empty. You can add a new policy using the add line. All new policies will be added with a status of inactive. Once the policy is added, the discovery or DI line command can be used to populate the policy. The discovery can use your current SSM managed tables to build the policy or scan the system and populate the policy with started tasks that are currently running on the system. Once the 
the discovery is complete, the SSM active policy parameter will be set to the policy name and it will become the active policy. Policies can also be copied, deleted, and removed from the policy manager's control. The edit command will put you into the policy editor, which can also be entered via opsview 4.11.p.r. When editing a policy, the policy name and policy status are displayed under the command line. The policy name can be changed to edit any defined policy. If the policy status is active, the load, unload, verify, import, and compare commands are directed to the SSM managed tables. When editing an inactive policy, you are presented with a panel that will allow you to define test SSM tables to be used for this edit session. The tables must exist and cannot be under SSM control. The load, unload, verify, import, and compare commands are directed to the test SSM tables for this edit session. The test tables are not required and you can cancel or PF12 out of the panel. But if test tables are not defined, the load, unload, verify, import, and compare commands will fail. The test SSM command can be issued at any time to redrive the option to add test SSM tables for this edit session. The page left, or PF10, and page right, or PF11 commands can be used to display the test SSM tables defined to the current policy being edited. The SSM active policy parameter is used to set the active policy. The default for this parameter is null. The SSM auto load pol parameter is used to determine if the active policy is loaded at IPL time. The default for this parameter is no. If the SSM active policy is not set in the ops s pa00 parm lab member, then a multi-line WTO message OPS 79470 will be issued with a list of defined policies as well as a right to operator message OPS 79480 to select the policy and set the SSM auto load Paul value. Once a policy is selected, it will be loaded into the SSM managed tables if the SSM auto load Paul parameter is set to yes. The OPS 79460 message is issued with the status of the policy load. If the SSM auto load Paul parameter is set to no, then the SSM managed tables will not be changed. In this video, we covered the OPS MBS 14.0 multiple SSM policy feature. The following is a summary of what we covered about the multiple SSM policy management feature. The OpsView 4.11.p.p option, which is policy administration, was modified to support managing multiple policies. The OpsView 4.11.p.r option, which is the SSM resource list panel, is used to manage multiple SSM policies. The SSM active policy parameter was introduced to control the active policy. The SSM auto load Paul parameter was introduced to control the loading of the active policy. And the SSM begin request role was updated to load the active policy at IPL time. For more detailed information about Ops MBS, go to the following URL for the product page. From here, you can access product documentation, support, communities, and learning paths.